It's Kevin Landrigan, political reporter at The Telegraph. You know, I'm going on my quarter century as a reporter covering all the vagaries of politics and the legislature in New Hampshire, which is an exciting state. Um, I've covered seven governors in New Hampshire. I've covered 11 Senate presidents. I've covered eight House speakers, eight years in Massachusetts, another three governors, another four Senate presidents, another three House speakers. I guess the point is, um, there have been very few intriguing political figures like Bill O'Brien, the new Speaker of the House. And the Telegraph really set out to explain who this guy is, how he got to where he was, what makes him tick, and can he last? Um, Jake Berry, my colleague, and I um, did a series of stories that we hope you'll enjoy in the Telegraph that examine some of those questions. I mean, in New Hampshire with a 400-person house, you really have to work your way up the ladder. Guys and gals spend more than 20 years to try and grab that gavel at some point and have that power that a, that a speaker has. One of the weakest legislative leaders in the country. Why? No bills can be killed. Every bill gets a hearing. Every bill gets a vote. You have the third largest body in the free world that you have to negotiate through. As uh, House Speaker Bill O'Brien says in this series, it's not like herding cats. It's like herding feral cats. Um, so this, this series really looks at what makes Bill O'Brien tick and what makes him such a powerful leader. I mean, this is somebody, as I was talking about before, you work your way up the ladder, you pay your dues. He's never been a subcommittee chairman, and he becomes Speaker of the House. He not only becomes Speaker of the House, he becomes this, the face of the Republican Party in New Hampshire. He sets the agenda in New Hampshire. He's the, not just the titular head of the party, the... Uh, alter ego to Governor John Lynch, the popular four-term governor, where they have a lot of public wars as well. He doesn't govern with a velvet glove. He governs with an iron fist, and he's four square about it. He's someone who makes no bones about the fact he's going to spend his political capital as soon as he gets it, and he's going to be willing to get his hands dirty. Um, while other speakers in the past, yes, have had committee chairmen thrown off, have had committee members removed uh, for voting off, this speaker takes ownership of them. He takes responsibility for it. Um, some people call that a bullying style. He essentially says, look, you can't bully in New Hampshire when the price is uh, a parking space or when the price is a better seat in the House of Representatives. You have to try and work with legislators and compromise. But he knows he's going to be, he's been a lightning rod from the moment he's been here. And as long as he's here, he's going to be one of the most fascinating political figures of our time.